Hello everyone, it's Emma K and today we're talking tech. A lot of you guys are not creating videos for yourselves because of the whole new normal situation. You're doing it on a budget and you're doing it at home with limited movements to anywhere. And I'm here to show you ways how you can do it perfectly at home. This video has been sponsored by i3C. I3C offers a wide range of technology products and IT services like cloud and hosting solutions, domain name registrations, websites and app development, big data and analytics, fintech solutions with much more, and technical computer support. Infinity Computers and Communications is leading in East Africa. I'll leave the website link below in the description for you to check it out. There are two options I'm going to share with you and that is a studio backdrop setup and an environmental lifestyle setup. So first is the studio backdrop setup. Now you're asking yourselves how you're going to be able to change the background colors and the answer is backdrop paper or fabric. You're going to find uh, chitenji, all sorts of materials, plain colors I'd encourage you to use. You choose anything depending on what you want to communicate or something that relates to the video you want to pass on. You can use tape and pegs to attach your fabric like to the stand if you have one or attach, to, or attach it to the wall. This is my point of view from the camera and I have my camera right in the middle. I have two lights in the side. I have one light in the middle which is the ring light. So if you don't have a ring light or you don't have lights, you can go to the window as your source of light that will be in this next step. So this is an example of an environment and a lifestyle setup. All you need to find is a window and a chair and the window will be your source of light. Objects behind me are out of focus and that's achieved by what we call depth of field. The further they are away from me, the more out of focus they will be. So I also encourage you to be more creative with the pieces in the background. Find objects that speak to you and your brand in the video. All right, so this is my whole space, but I'm only choosing to use part of it. I choose everything I want here because I want it there, and that's what we call having a set. I encourage you to be more creative. Find things that speak to you and your brand. Find art pieces, find artwork, find plans, and just be creative as you can. Be sure to leave a comment below of everything that you found important in this video, and I'll get back to you. See you next time.